Kazakh linguistics is an inexhaustible world. The first works on linguistics were written in the 1920s and the 1930s by Ahmed Baitursinov and Kudaybergen Zhubanov, a Turkic scientist, a teacher and a professor. Thus, these two scientists wrote a number of books on linguistics and substantive development of the Kazakh language. All the works which Kudaybergen Zhubanov wrote were made in the form of thesis. Scientific works by Zhubanov embrace several directions of linguistics, including psycholinguistics, social linguistics, and others. Considering the folklore as a set of different arts such as singing, dancing, and verse, we can see that the works by Kudaybergen Zhubanov describe all areas of Kazakh folklore. Kudaybergen Zhubanov was born in 1899 in the village of Akjar of the Timir district, which is now called the Mugajar district of the Aktobe region. Being addicted to science since childhood, Kudaybergen Zhubanov attended classes of Ishana Span at a mosque and studied in the Husseiniya Madrasa in Orenburg. After his two year studies at the School of Russian Linguistics in 1928, he completed his postgraduate studies at the Leningrad Institute of Oriental Languages. In the early 1930s, Kudaybergen Zhubanov successfully completed scientific academies of the USSR. He was fluent in 18 languages, including German, Persian, Turkish, Mongolian, Chuvash. Komi, Russian and Georgian. Surprisingly, he read the works of a bio written in Chagatai language and published a number of book reviews in leading philological journals. In the 1920s, Abai was often criticized. He was called the feudal poet. Kudaybergen Zhubanov, just like Muhtar Awezov, wrote a number of works about Abai. The Abai is the classic of the Kazakh literature article by Zhubanov was published in 1934 in the Literaturny Front newspaper. In the twilight of his life he started learning Japanese, since the majority of Chinese works had been translated into Japanese. Chinese works had a lot of material about Turkic nations. Kudaybergen Zhubanov wanted to read all these materials in their original form. The world of literature, Abai's the classic of the Kazakh literature and the letters of legacy, are the main works by Zhubanov, which contain his studies of Turkic languages and the emergence of such a genre of the Kazakh folk music and ballads known as Kui. The contribution of Kudaybergen Kuanuli to the Kazakh linguistics is enormous. Understanding the fact that it is impossible to divide the language and literature, his works embraced both the Kazakh language and the literature. Such magazines as Tez and I, which were aimed at encouraging people, were publishing his verses, articles and satire under the names of Shikti and Karashash Bala. I have found the names of 25 articles by Kudaybergen Zhubanov and have already read 14 of them. I have also published one of his articles, which was written in the period between 1915 and 1926, called Three Ages of Law. After his return to the homeland, he worked in the area of education and science. Academic Sergei Malov said that the Latin-based alphabet proposed by Kudaybergen Zhubanov was more substantial than in other Turkic languages. Modern authors of textbooks could take the system of materials through the levels of each class of a secondary school, and his author's comprehensive analysis, proposed in 1936 as examples. This is the main feature of works by Kudaybergen Zhubanov. While working in the sector of manuals, syllabi, in textbooks and the People's Commissariat for Education of the Kazakh SSR, 
Kodai Birgen Kwanuli had become the first author of a textbook for the fifth and the sixth forms. He was a great scholar who devoted his life to the study of literary language and a dialect, thus putting the Kazakh language in order. When Zhubanov was the chairman of the committee governing matters relating to terms, he paid special attention to a clear identification of terms. The main reason for confusion is the fact that we often do not see the difference between terms and simple words. According to archive material, Kudaybergen Zhubanov was involved in public and spiritual life of the Aktobe region. Abdullah Yerkinov, Zhubanov's art teacher, had noticed his talent in painting, and the teacher of prose and drama, Rabiga Sizdikova, believed that Kudaybergen Zhubanov had a talent of an actor. Linguist Kudaybergen Zhubanov was a very talented man. He succeeded in linguistics, wrote a number of research works on music. Kudaybergen Zhubanov helped both his relatives and all young people who have had a penchant for art and science. Everyone who knew Kudaybergen Zhubanov says that he was a very hard-working person. The great scholar was very modest in his everyday life. He tried to explain his children the importance of such qualities as respect and kindness. Small children are not very keen on eating. So he had been making different refrigerants, such as goats, cows and kittens using bread. He loved children very much. Our grandfather had six children and my grandmother brought them all up. Representatives of Kazakh intellectuals who had been worried about the future of their people referred to as public enemies, and Kudaybergen Zhubanov shared the destiny of all Kazakh intellectuals of that time. However, even after imprisonment, the scientist never abandoned his scientific work. There were such scientists and literary men who were unable to withstand the pressure, but Kudaybergen Zhubanov was different. Despite the fact he was a linguist, he had been working on the art of Abai in the difficult 1930s. He wrote a pamphlet in prison. Our grandmother was told that he was imprisoned for 10 or 20 years without a right of correspondence. Unfortunately, she didn't even know that he was executed by shooting. My grandmother found out that he was killed only in 1957. Years when a scientist could be referred to as a public enemy were left behind. He was officially rehabilitated only 20 years later, in 1957, and at present his descendants continued the great work of their father and grandfather. Kudaybergen Kuanuli had six children. His elder son, Yesed Zhubanov, followed in his father's footsteps and became a Turkologist. Yisset Aga has continued the work which his father started. He made a significant contribution to the development of phonetics, grammar and linguistics. He has published a number of works of his father devoted to terms and wrote an essay to those works. 
We have published the Kudaibirgen Zhubanov, the founder of the Kazakh language work. As part of this project, we have launched a special course to study the work of Kudaibirgen Zhubanov. We are trying to cover his entire biography and explain it to students. The family of Zhubanov is famous in the Aktobe region as the family of scientists. Kudaibirgen Zhubanov was the first Kazakh linguist and his brother Ahmed was the first Kazakh person who was through professional music education in Leningrad. The daughter of Kudaibirgen Zhubanov, Gaziza Zhubanova, has become a famous composer and his children have continued the work of his father and are working in different scientific areas. There is the Kudaibirgen Zhubanov Teachers University in Aktobe. This university accommodates a laboratory which studies the life and work of Kudaibirgen Zhubanov. The best students get Kudaibirgen Zhubanov scholarships, which is a tribute to the great scientist who devoted his life to linguistics. <laughs> <laughs> 